Hi everyone, my name's Luke and welcome to my channel and also welcome to what is the fourth night of capture on tonight's target which is the Crescent Nebula. Um, with any luck I'm hoping to get a few hours on it tonight. It really didn't look like it was going to clear up earlier but I decided to put the scope out anyway and get it cooling. Um, as between those four nights, well it's kind of three already, um, they've been very unproductive. I've only ended up with basically six hours of data between them. Um, so I'm hoping to add a decent amount to that and maybe if I can't quite finish it tonight perhaps collect a little bit more data later in the week and uh, take this target up to around about 10 hours of uh, total exposure and I think that should be enough to deliver a very nice image at the end as it's quite a, a bright, um, well at least a reasonably bright target. So stay tuned and let's see how it goes. So I'm almost finished and uh, kind of up and running now. It's uh, just performing an autofocus procedure. Uh, I've already got it plate solved and aligned to the, uh, the Crescent Nebula itself. Fortunately, Astrophotography Tool has this object listed as part of its object browser, uh, which means you can just kind of select it from a list uh, in the catalog and hit go to and it'll do the rest, which is uh, really very handy for making multi-night projects extremely easy. Um, Kind of a happy um, side effect of getting off to such a late start tonight is uh, normally all the other nights I've been able to take down the washing line in the garden um, as otherwise it caused kind of strange weird lines going through the stars and things like that but because it's taking so long to clear tonight uh, the, the object is already above that so it's no, uh, not a problem tonight which is kind of handy, nobody likes taking down the washing line. <laughs> Well, that's the first exposure of the night down now. I'm shooting 10 minute exposures through the Optolong L Extreme, uh, and I'll just show you one on screen right now, the one that's just been taken. Hopefully you can see for yourselves that it's looking quite good really, all things considered. The amount of uh, moonlight in the sky and the light pollution at my location certainly doesn't seem to be overly affecting the sub-exposures too much. Um, I'm lucky that the moon is in basically the complete opposite side of the sky as the target, uh, as it's even with a filter like this, it's not a good idea generally to shoot close by the moon uh, as it just illuminates the atmosphere nearby so much that um, it will affect your exposures from my own experience. Um, but yeah, it's looking promising and uh, one other nice thing about tonight is it's quite still. The air uh, really doesn't seem to be moving around very much. It'd be a nice night for perhaps planetary photography if there were any showing but Unfortunately not, and uh, I have other fish to fry right now, so um, yeah, I'm going to get a time lapse going and uh, show you guys a little bit of the passage of time, and uh, hopefully come back to you soon with a load more frames. <laughs> Just captured my 10th frame of the night now and uh, I guess something interesting to note is looking at the first frame compared to the last so far um, the first frame had a background ADU of like 910 units uh, and this one had about 760 so it's getting considerably darker as Cygnus rises from kind of the light pollution murk and at the same time the uh, the moon just behind me here is kind of setting a bit lower in the sky now um, yeah but those two in conjunction with one another is leading to better subframes. So I'm in no position to complain. Um, definitely the weather is being defied currently by me also. I hope I've not just jinxed it, but uh, the Met Office is basically suggesting that it should be cloudy right now, but I can't see any evidence whatsoever. 
of, uh, of any of these clouds. I hope the time lapse doesn't show anything that's uh, going to trip me up. But with any luck, I should be able to get some more exposures. And uh, yeah, just more, as much time as possible from tonight is uh, is the plan. So I'm going to keep going. Well guys, it's the end now of what actually turned out to be quite a fruitful night. Um, I really didn't think it would be, looking at the weather, but sure enough, it held. And uh, here we are, dawn's breaking and it's still uh, quite clear, no clouds in the sky. So yeah, you can never really complain at a night like tonight. Um, in total, I captured 18 exposures at 10 minutes each. And uh, even with the full moon up, I think it's still quality data, uh, looking at the exposures that came in. And uh, yeah, I think coupling that with the time that I've already put on the target, uh, and if between recording this and maybe releasing the video, if I can capture any more time, maybe take it up to a full 10 hours total, uh, I'd like to do that. But if not, so far, this should be more than enough integration to uh, give a decent representation of the Crescent Nebula. Um, I think I will process this one, maybe not in uh, Hubble palette, but perhaps more of a normal approach to uh, bicolor imaging, so uh, more of a blues and reds uh, look. I think that'll show quite well on this target. As always, thank you very, very much indeed for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate all your support, and my word, you really have been supportive. It's, uh, it's still blowing my mind just how well this whole thing's going. I, uh, <laughs> I really can't get my head around it, so... I'll not waffle on too much about that, but you get the idea. I do appreciate it. Please, please keep it up. And uh, yeah. Oh, I also, before I forget, I do have an Instagram now. And uh, if you'd like to send me your pictures of what you've been getting up to, that's a perfect platform to do it on. Uh, and I'd love to see that. So uh, you can find me on there as Luca Matico, just the same as this YouTube uh, channel. And yeah, I'd like to see that if, uh, if any of you are interested. So with that, thank you very much for watching and uh, clear skies until next time.